subreddits protest API costs. Over 2,000 Reddit communities, and as far as I know, uh, including the Linus Tech Tips one, that which is, is not correct. run by us, uh, over 2,000 Reddit communities are planning to go dark for 48 hours on June 12th in protest of Reddit's proposed API costs due to the likelihood of pricing out third-party app developers. Nearly 40 of the subreddits have over 5 million subscribers each. Uh, the, the block that they're planning on doing will last at least 48 hours, uh, but some of the subreddits may not come back at all. Wow, I didn't know that part. Yeah, there's uh, some, some people are raised... mad, and rightly so. Yeah, yeah. Following concerns raised by uh, disabled moderators, I genuinely don't know what that means. Uh, Reddit has said that it will make an exception to the API prices for non-commercial accessibility focused third-party apps. Okay. Um, the third-party apps Apollo, Sync, and Reddit is Fun have already announced that they will be shutting down when the new API rules come into effect. Reddit, meanwhile, is reportedly laying off around 5% of its current employees. What's going on? Um, something that's not uh, in our one notes. Notable... Oh, uh, okay. yeah. Something that's, something that's not in our notes, but I wanted to talk about a little bit, is the developer of the Apollo app, who I didn't realize is Canadian. Yo, shout out, fellow Canadian. Um, the developer of the Apollo app uh, posted a really, really good rundown of why this is a problem, like why what Reddit is doing is so unfair, um, the ways that Reddit has misrepresented or even outright lied about what's going on, and um, a really sort of solid breakdown of why they basically were given no choice but to shut down their app. Like it's 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 a completely untenable situation, and they also did a really good job of outlining the hypocrisy of Reddit throughout all of this, where they even you know provided assurances that they're not going to pull a Twitter and basically just turn off third party apps, um, and yet have essentially done so. Um, he's got receipts, which is really cool. Um, most parts of Canada, as far as I'm aware, are uh, single consent recording. Um, when I say states, I just mean like places. I don't mean like United States, uh, but but single single consent uh, recording places. So that means that as long as one party gives consent, you can record an interaction with someone. So he actually recorded his calls with Reddit and posted the audio so people can see where Reddit lied basically just in the conversation said one thing fully understood what he was saying and then turned around and completely misrepresented it to the community in an effort to turn it into like a he says she said situation it's not it's very black and white reddit went full scumbag on this and it sucks um yeah that's really rough not yeah. like that part. There's some other really good uh, comments in the chat talking about how not not only it's not just shutting down as a form of protest. It's also shutting down because the moderation tools that they use rely on the API, and they're not going to start paying Reddit to moderate Reddit. Oh, uh, wow. Now, my understanding is that this isn't in our notes either. So, guys, you're going to have to correct me if I'm wrong here. But my understanding is that Reddit has said that they're not going to. Um, they're not going to charge moderation tools, but don't quote me on that because I'm not necessarily sure that they would 100% be able to differentiate. Um, I mean, they literally just got caught lying, right? So yeah, and their word they're really also big that? liars. So yeah, what does their word mean at all? My understanding is that, oh, 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 right. This was yesterday that I was reading that there was going to be an AMA. And so the AMA was today. Oh, man. I haven't even, oh, wow, this is, oh, wow. Oh, wow, this is, this is as bad as, like, it could be. Um, so, yeah, they did an AMA, and this is, this is wild. Uh... <laughs> oh, wow. So, you got called out for being a two-faced piece of shit. And your best response is to attack 
the integrity of someone for recording and leaking a private phone call. Wow. 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 You want to read some of it out? I'm, I'm trying to find it right now. Oh, sorry. His joke is the least of our issues. His behavior and communications with us has been all over the place, saying one thing to us while saying something completely different externally, recording and leaking a private phone call to the point where I don't know how we could do business with him. And so this is talking about the developer of Apollo, uh, Christian. Mm. Wow. This is unreal. Christian literally has tapes. And you're going to double down on this. Like, what is actually happening right now? How are they... How is this... How is this a serious company run by serious people? Now, you asked before, Luke, you know, why they're making these changes. And... Uh, it's supposed to be because they're aiming to go IPO. So they're looking to boost revenue, uh, you know, do all those uh, things that look good to for an initial public offering, which sort of reinforces... Fire a bunch of people. I wish, I wish firing a bunch of people isn't something that looked good for a public offering. It is, apparently, but I just hate that that's true. That's really frustrating. <sighs> yeah, I mean... It's one of those things where I feel like we, we've we experienced a period of shocking stability in internet services. Do you kind of get what I mean? Like for, mm -hmm. for 20 years, basically everyone has used Gmail. You know, for a solid, what, 15 years, pretty much everyone used Facebook. And then recently... You know, over the last two, three years, it's like, oh, okay, yeah, no, I, I message on, you know, Facebook's not cool. My nan uses Facebook. Um, but, like, even then, most people I know still have a Facebook account so that their nan can message them, right? Like, it's, 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 sort, of, yeah. it's sort of ubiquitous, right? Um, for, for, I mean, yeah, I'm, so I'm trying to think. Like, you have to go back maybe, what, 12, 13 years to when Dig was a thing? And then Reddit took over absolutely took over there hasn't been a reddit yeah, competitor like reddit and youtube yeah in my opinion have been like staples these incredible unassailable mainstays for a very very long time yeah and so i feel like it lasted so long that we started to take it for granted but it used to be that this kind of stuff happened all the time you know, E-bombs world showed up and disappeared over a span of a few years. You know, Newgrounds went from being huge to being utterly irrelevant over a span of a few years. Like this kind of stuff happened a lot, but we've just experienced this unprecedented period of stability in the online services that we use that I feel like is being disrupted right now in a way that we're just not used to. Reddit is not unassailable. Guys, we don't actually have to accept this. And I feel yeah. like that I feel uh, like that this period has resulted in complacency from these platforms as well, where they're just they're just being blatantly anti-user to the point where they they must just think you have no other choice. Guess what? Linustechtips.com still exists. If you want to go to a private forum and talk we, about stuff, you can. F***ing do it. We have been told a ton of times by a huge variety of people to just stop having the forum exist. No! Um, because, like, they're like, oh, I mean, you guys have a subreddit and, like, there's there's hardware subreddits and PCMR subreddits and all these other different things. So, like, you don't really need to have your own forum in, in 2023. Um, yeah, we and do. For a lot of reasons, they're right, but then for a lot of reasons, they're also wrong. Uh, and this is this is the reason why they're wrong. Uh, we like having our own stuff. It's why we have the forum. It's why we have Floatplane, um, because it it makes our things a little bit more unassailable, right?
Yeah. Um, and we, we come from an era of the internet where things were not stable at all. Yeah. And we have not forgotten, apparently, which is probably good. Well, yeah, um, I mean, especially because we've experienced it, too. I mean, what happened to Vessel? We talked about that oh, earlier yeah. on the show. Oh, it just yeah. disappeared like that. And we're going, okay, well, I guess we need to build our own Vessel because we can't rely on anything. And we've seen If it. I remember correctly, the notice we got from Vessel was immediate, wasn't it? No, it wasn't quite immediate. Or, had, or it was like, we had like 10 Friday days. to Monday or something? Yeah, we had not, okay. a very, yeah. not a very long period of time. It was basically at the end of yeah. the month, it's over was was what we got yeah. we're just shutting it off that was after the verizon acquisition and um another uh, yeah another example that you know i'm glad we didn't just move to patreon because there was that thing a couple of years ago where patreon stopped that are the deal that they had with vimeo just got sunsetted and everyone's rates got jacked up and we're sitting here going ours didn't you could have been on full plane, but like, you know, whatever. But then, you know, that, that's people putting their destiny in our hands too. And we like to think, you know, trust me, bro, we got you. Don't worry about it. But like you and I could be on the same plane and it could crash, you know, at which point, yeah. you know, maybe, maybe things do change. I mean, I, I'd like to think that we're setting things up between you building out your team, me hiring a new executive to keep this thing running, not just a new executive, but having the executive team here to keep things up. Uh, to keep things running smoothly, even if something did happen to me. But, you know, that takes time. And those things definitely didn't exist three, four, five years ago, right? <sighs> yep. Yeah. This is great. Luke and Lance should never be on the same flight. There was one There was one point in time where the entire executive team, including one that at the time was not announced, um, but is now, which is Taryn, the entire executive team was all on a ferry together. <laughs> yeah. And I remember thinking while we were on there, like, you know? With how reliable BC <laughs> Ferries has been lately. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It'd be really interesting. So everyone, what, just shows up oh, on man. Monday? I mean, their key cards would still work. But, like, yeah. then what? <laughs> I... What do we do? Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, who? So, Okay. Shares in the company. The still there. People can still get paid. Yeah, shares in the company, the company would is... pass to our kids, but they'd be held in trust yeah. by the executor of our executor of our will. Um, they would probably be subject to inheritance tax, so the kids would basically Ooh. have to sell the company. That's <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. And you just have to hope that whatever shark that smells blood in the water ends up being a friendly shark. Which, I mean, statistically, <laughs> unlikely. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Anyways. What's up? Oh, yes, people are talking about how, uh, what kind of trouble Reddit appears to be in uh, financially as well. Uh, Fidelity, which led Reddit's seven hundred million dollar funding round in twenty twenty one at a valuation of ten billion, has marked down the value of its Reddit stock again. Reports TechCrunch. Um, <laughs> okay, they marked it down by over forty percent as of the end of April. Insider previously reported that they'd already marked it down in January in their January disclosures. Of course, like a private stakeholder, I guess. I, uh, hmm. They're kind this, of, this is there's going to be fuzzy problem, math though. there, and, fuzzy math. And, and, p people seem to like hate it when I talk about this uh, because I think reality just sucks and they find that very frustrating. I, I genuinely think that's what it is. But a massive percentage of stuff on the internet is not financially viable. Like <laughs> this, this whole Twitch thing happened, right? And all yeah. these people are super pissed off and they're pointing at different creators and they're like, hey, you should make a Twitch competitor. I had a few people tag me yeah. on Twitter being like, oh, just just open just open uh, Floatplane up and then bring a bunch of creators on. It's like actually making a Twitch creator is actually just a terrible idea unless your like, whole goal is to market gambling to children like Kick. Or whatever else, uh, like I, I, don't, I don't. They're, they're like, they're, there's, it's such an incredibly deeply bad business model. Just having like open free streaming to infinite people is incredibly rough. They, there's a lot of stuff that makes sense. As annoying as it is, it makes sense that Twitch has been trying to do. Like I've, I've looked at some of Twitch's actions where they're trying to like 
the, the most recent one is is just stupid in my opinion but some of their other ones where they're like trying to get more percentages on things or they're trying to charge more for things and i'm like yeah that sucks in a lot of cases for creators this is like bad and the approach is bad and all those different types of things but i understand where it's coming from because they're just hemorrhaging money all the time yep and amazon is sitting there being like what are you even for like what is your value we we give all these people free prime subscriptions and that that just pours money into creators' pockets. What is what is the point of this platform? It doesn't make any money. Like, why do we have this thing? Um, Maybe they should have thought of that and, before and, they spent a billion dollars on it, like a bunch of idiots. But that's how a lot of these internet companies work. They just like oh, they they have no potential of ever making any money, and companies are just like, oh, that looks sweet. Let's buy it for a billion dollars because that makes sense. Like, just such a massive loss leader for what this, okay this is like oh no oh no this, luke is going this, after the twitch chat now i thought that was my thing <laughs> there's just there's so many different examples of this it's not just twitch but there's so many other examples of this too and i know a, a huge percentage of the internet for a very long time there was pounding this drum of watch time like the only thing that matters at all on the internet for a huge portion there was watch time even microsoft was like oh man well, mixer uh, mixer uh, mixer let's time. go we need to, we need to make mixer oh geez like it it was so such a frenzy there that seems to be over now but like what what was the actual value of watch time the only actual value of watch time was getting users to either normalize on that particular website to spend more money there or mm -hmm. to be able to sell those users more ads and just having yep. banner ads does not pay for a live streaming service it's not enough what are you, you sure need more money well, what would you know about that oh. Ugh. there's also this it's so, is it's the whole thing itchy halls in twitch chat has another bad take amazon has plenty of money oh my god well yeah but you don't get plenty of money by operating services that lose money <laughs> just burning it in a fire that's yeah. not that's not like, good business yeah so like i uh, i don't know i yeah like you, you look at the, the business model for Reddit and it's like, yeah, how does that make any sense? Like one of the and ones that stuns me too, all which the is time, wild. Yeah. But I mean, there is, there is, yeah, I guess the pictures are externally hosted, aren't they? Maybe, yeah. they, maybe some of them aren't, I don't know. Yeah. I think like you can upload directly to Reddit, but it's like pretty light compared to something like even Twitter where there's video, like yeah. directly embedded video. Yeah. <laughs> yeah the whole the whole thing is just so so many like silicon valley style companies are just wild to me um it's just this weird shifting pool of investor money and everyone's hoping to just like sell or buy at the right time that that that's that's like the whole the whole thing that's that's the entire thing it's like this store of wealth um that you're you're gambling on um and that's that's okay. pretty much it. oh guys okay so apparently reddit does have um self-hosted uh pictures and video now but sixteen thousand. the video player is horrible the the reddit video you know player that? is like the worst thing <laughs> it's so frustrating it's so bad it's actually so like impressively bad and it's not it's not even it's not even just their like content delivery which ha leaves a little bit to be desired sometimes but the like the controls are super broken it will fail the yeah. load extremely often it's just oh my goodness. i love 16000 dpi's so comment here twitch is making tons of money millions upon millions just not for amazon <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stream yeah yeah the streamers yeah, are making money yeah, yeah. that's yeah, fair that's sure. that's fair oh man yeah. and oh. the bad thing the bad thing with the with the agreements there is it, it's this whole concept of like once you give someone something it's extremely hard to then take it back yeah um so some of these agreements that these platforms have established which are not sustainable um once you try to claw that back you look like uh a big i, I don't have a sensor button over here you look like a big butthole um and it's very understandable because creators are, are are sitting there every time you do that if you claw anything back 
from creators as a platform. I get, especially as a platform as big as Twitch, I guarantee you just completely ruined someone because there will have been someone who fairly recently um, decided to quit their job or whatever and go full time. And then you just took 25% back off them and now they can't afford to eat. Yep. That will happen with platforms that big, that will happen. So like you, you actually can't really claw it back. 